Hello, what's up, everybody? It's Clinton again here. Welcome back, guys, into another uh, another episode in my channel. So, as you know, guys, feel free to subscribe and like. Also, comment on the comment area, you know. So, today, guys, we are actually going to talk about something that is currently happening right now. As we're talking right now, we, there is something which is happening, which you a lot of you might not uh, know about it, but I am sure you've noticed the results of what is happening now. What is happening, guys? There are elections in the U.S. There are elections in the U.S. Um, people in the U.S., uh, U.S. residents, they are voting. It's already started. They are voting. And if you know, or you are trading Nasdaq, you already know that there is a little bit of volatility in the market. Nothing is stable now. Uh, currency pairs are consolidating. Some are shooting up. They are never coming back. You know, some, th 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 there is this thing which is happening which we, we don't understand as uh, forex traders uh, or rather we are not used to or rather we are not familiar to, you know. So it's because there are elections in the U.S. Now, I want us to talk about Donald Trump. Donald Trump versus his opponent. His opponent, of course, is, is Joe Biden. You know, Joe Biden is his opponent. He was, uh, let me give you a background of uh, those two guys. So Donald Trump is a, 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 a current businessman, you know. He's been owning businesses since he was like uh, back in, the, in his 20s uh, when um, uh, he was running his father's uh, companies and stuff. Now, you must understand that his, his uh, background is more of financial background. He knows about money. He knows about money now let's go to joe biden joe biden he was um uh, before now before now where he's running for president he was a vice president uh, uh, uh working with uh, working with um uh, this guy um, um barack obama yeah? right now that is his background he is also involved in some kind of business but not necessarily 100 percent in it but he is uh, somehow involved in business now you must understand the two are very very different the other guy is a purely is a pure a uh, uh, um, 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 uh, pure um, what can I use wh wh which word can I use political person yeah he's pure pol political person forty one years into politics that is Joe Biden now Donald Trump has only been into politics for less than uh, less than ten years less than ten years I can say so now he's been in business for more years than Joe Joe Biden which is that is Donald Trump of course now you must understand. When it comes to the forex market, the person who will have more influence is Donald Trump. What do I mean by that? You've noticed that since Donald Trump has been a president of the United States, Nasdaq has been going like this, right? Is Nasdaq has been going like this for a long time, even before Donald Trump. But since Donald Trump became a president, the spike is just going straight as if it's a straight thing. It's a straight line, vertical. You know, so that shows that how powerful Donald Trump is in what in, in, in the forex market, especially Nasdaq. Now, you must understand that uh, these two candidates, they've got different qualities. That is why they affect the market differently. We want to talk about, we want to talk about the elections right now. We want to talk about the elections and we understand that when it comes to the elections, when it comes to the ele elections, you don't know what, what the outcome will be. That's the funny part, and that's the good thing. Because now if you knew, you would trade the market without knowledge. You would just go in bl uh, uh, blindfolded. Now you, will, you must know your stuff before trading the, uh, the market in this election time. Some other people are not trading. They are taking breaks because they know that this is the time where, you know, things are uncertain. Let's talk about Wall Street. Wall Street is the, is the, is the, is the, is the house, or rather is the compound, or rather is the main um main office of the financial markets we're talking about stocks we're talking about 4, 401k we're talking about all those investment companies we talk about the forex market and everything wall street is basically the core house of all those financial financial institutions now understand this since donald trump is more involved into business it means he will have a huge influence in the Wall Street. What about Joe Biden? Is the opposite. Now, let's talk about tax. Donald Trump reduced tax, and he's talking about reducing even even further if he wins. You must understand that businessmen they like 
text being, being reduced they like it because now they want to, to they want to save as more capital as they can if tax is reduced they save more right of course they are what they are with donald trump joe biden is the opposite he wants to increase what taxes so now you can see where where these ideas are pointing right donald trump if he wins what's going to happen if joe biden wins what's going to happen now you have a clear idea now let's talk about their debates there is a debate which was currently held uh, yesterday that was the second debate the first one it was uh, two weeks back i think it was two three weeks back right now that was the first debate now in the first debate donald trump seemed to be okay this let me just quickly explain what happens in the debate a debate is basically where the uh, you know the, the whole country and also the audience which are watching the debate even the world they get an idea of who you are what dream you have for the country if you win to be a president now you understand what the debate means that's perfect now donald trump became a vultural animal he attacked joe biden in the first uh, debate he was all over he didn't give him he didn't give him a chance to speak you understand what i mean when i say he was he was vultural animal he didn't he did not give joe biden a, a, an opportunity to speak so he was all over joe biden right that's that, that that was the debate number one. debate number two which happened yesterday Donald Trump, while he got uh, some advices from his advisors and also I'm sure uh, those guys who are running the debate, they, they made sure that he doesn't harass uh, the other guy, you know. So that was basically that. That was basically that. So the, both debates, they gave us an idea of um, who Joe Biden was or is or, or, or rather who uh, Donald Trump is or was. Now you, we get an idea of who is going to be winning we get the idea but you, you know you never know the, the final day will say now i want to talk about something very important here what will what what, what can you expect if, if donald trump wins it's now obvious if donald trump wins the market will shoot up i'm talking about nasdaq here it will shoot up remember nasdaq is a representation of the stock market right representation of the stock market stock market is where you trade shares of the companies right now if donald trump wins meaning companies are what are are going to be gaining more because taxes will go down and stuff and stuff and stuff like that so you know the guy is also a businessman so it means companies will shoot up in, in their stocks meaning nasdaq will also shoot up because it's the representation of what of the stocks now what can we expect if uh, joe biden wins if joe biden wins well it's crashing it might crash for a day two days a week two weeks whatever it, it will crash that's a fact now let's talk about the election day what about on the election day the election day will be on the 3rd of november 2020 on the 3rd 3rd of november 2020 that is that will be the election day now what about the result day the result day it depends on the number uh, of um, uh, ballots which they have to count and also count the, the votes now it might they, they have, they've got a maximum of three days they can't take more than three days it's either they are done by by tomorrow and give out the results or two days or three days now they can't pass three days that's a law they can't pass three days now what how to take advantage of the situation how can you take advantage of the situation you must understand who Donald Trump is. You must understand who uh, Joe Biden is. You must understand their values, both of them, their values. Uh, you must understand what he is about and what he, uh, he is about. From there, you will know which decision to make. Guys, let me tell you, I wish you all the best in the upcoming weeks. I'm sure in two weeks time, we will all know who became a millionaire, who did not become a millionaire, who lost their savings. It's not a good thing though who lost their savings and uh, who uh, managed to use their savings in good hands. I just hope and pray that all of you guys will use this opportunity of a lifetime. Make sure that you gain, you win, you become a better person, you become what you want to become. And guys, take care. On the 1st of November, I'll be posting those videos which I promised, a series of how to win in the market. Perfect. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to click that subscribe button click the notification bell next to the subscribe button to make sure that you are alerted every time i post a new video and like for the uh, youtube algorithm thank you guys take care